out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in, and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming, and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east, but we don't know what it is that they're bringing in, exactly. All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash flow. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, maybe. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe. They do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chaste European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. Ah, I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. In a, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. All right, here we are. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. Stick to me, man! Follow me, Nico. Why don't they make these places easier to break into? This is where the deal's meant to be going down. And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here, while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful.
Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Again, not many people do, but that's a lesson I've learned. Fucking casino said it'd be easy. Good thing I enjoy a good run. What the hell? He's a Chinese New Year already. There's a box of grenades in here. Pass some up, Becky. I'll give them a taste of their own fireworks. Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. One well, of the wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when their men get a hold of those, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here. You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man. <laughs> 